Hello my friends, Wiggle here. We are into June now. As you can see, the spinach, kale, it's getting pretty done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it all off and see how long we can keep producing fodder for the animals. If we're not gonna eat it, if it gets too bitter and we can't eat it, then I'm gonna feed it to the cows. And I'm just gonna see how long we can hold this and making do with what I have. Here, Michael, let me have that. I'm going to use this thing. I bought it at a garage sale for a dollar. Bosch, German made, works just fine. So I'm gonna take this after that kale and that spinach and see how much we get to feed to the animals. So I'll be back with you. I would love to have a battery operated, but I don't, I just have this. So we're gonna use a cord for now or a gas operated. I don't have either. I'm just using this electric. If this works well, maybe I would get a battery operated one, but for now, we'll see how this works. So here's an idea of what that looks like. I was kind of skipping over the beats and stuff, but I just said I'll just cut the beats too. See how that goes. So that's kind of the before and after, and all those little tops. It just it worked really well. And we, we had to go kind of fish them out by hand. I wanted to show you what else I'm doing with the, the kale here. So we have it cut, but then I'm taking my hand and I'm running through there. I'm not working very well here. But I just grab handfuls of whatever is loose and I can get a hold of. And just pull it off foliage from the kale. And just kind of thinning the plant and grabbing all the bigger older leaves. You're starting to see the squash bugs coming and stuff. So I'm really trying to reduce that older foliage. We're going to see how long we can keep little foliage like this coming and see how it tastes not really bitter it's a strong kale flavor but it's not bitter yet so especially if you cook it like you probably should cook kale it's still completely usable I'm getting a little bit of that kind of broccoli like spice to it but not bad not bad it's not um, not all bitter and gross yet so we're gonna thin all this out and i'll show you how many wheelbarrows we get to feed to the cows and then we ought to be able to pick broccoli off here for another couple weeks so that's pretty good for june so we're two wheelbarrows we might have another half a wheelbarrow we're still cleaning it up pulling out the trimmings but, uh, I also raked my fingers through and just pulled up a lot of the larger and dead leaves and stuff like that and just uh, kind of thinned it so we'll see how it looks and I'm going to investigate doing this method with radishes like two weeks in here um, just shear them off like that I rake it up and give it to the cows and just you know how radishes are so I'm thinking might be a way to get some high quality forage out of just a small plot. And it is, we are cycling nutrition. We're not just taking the fertility out. We are putting compost back on when we plant. So it is a, a nutrient cycle. We are taking it out of the soil, but we're putting it right back. So. It is basically closed loop, it's just running through the cows. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But it might be a way to really produce a closed loop fodder without taking 10, 15 years to improve your pastures. <laughs> Whatever it takes to really get them good. I don't think pastures will outproduce um, a good garden. <laughs> So the garden will produce just way more fodder. It 
you take a, <laughs> a weed eater to it or a hedge trimmers and just cut it off, cut and come again. Even if you're not feeding people, you're feeding animals. So anyway, tell me what you think. Um, here's the land scorer. You all should be growing that stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, this is all more radishes. Just on, I mean, just really freshly made rows. So, anyway, just wiggle out for now.